people welcome to the channel hello everyone welcome 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 my soul food youtube family i'm so happy to see you once again today we are making a tiktok viral food it's called 80 dollar fish sandwich and then this fish sandwich has some caviar yes it has caviar and the tartar sauce i'm going to show you how i do everything the first ingredients I'm showing you are for the wet batter. And the second ingredients I'm going to show you for the tartar sauce. So all these here are for the wet batter. But I figured out how I wanted to make my codfish. They're wild caught, boneless, and skinless. I'm going to air fry them. It's the easiest and simplest way. So you can wet them in your batter, drain them off real good, put them on a... Um, a non-stick aluminum foil, heat up your air fryer first at 400 degrees, and then place your aluminum foil and your fish in there. Now, these are the ingredients for the tartar sauce. As you see, Hellman's mayo, relish, sweet relish that is, Worcestershire sauce, fresh dill, caviar, of course, and um, you don't have to use uh, Magic Chef's Seafood Magic, but I'm using it. And to add a little soul to it, I'm adding some crystals. And we have a white onion. That's the thickest onion in the U.S. Okay, so that's what we're using. And we're also going to use some lime. Not adding no sugar or Dijon mustard to it because we want the caviar to kick through all the ingredients. Okay, this is a caviar tartar sauce. So... The more the caviar, the more delicious it should taste. We're using brioche buns, and we're going to butter them, and also some American cheese, which is not good for you. It's high in cholesterol. Make your cholesterol go up, but we're going to use it because that's what I've been seeing everyone use. But the best cheese for your heart are imported hard cheeses like cheddar, um, let me see, provolone, of our day, things of that nature. If it's imported and it's hard, it's usually better for your health than processed cheese. But we're gonna use it because that's what everybody's been using. Okay, so let's get to it. We're making a tartar sauce first. Everyone usually use, makes the tartar sauce after they fry their fish, but I wanna make the tartar sauce first so I can chill it. Tartar sauce always tastes better chilled than at room temperature. Because we need these seasonings to come to a marriage. We need them to blend all together. So right now, I'm just adding all my ingredients. I'm going to mix it up. And I'm going to add, the, I believe, the caviar last. But let's just get to it, y'all. I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend. I upload two videos on the weekend. I work full time. So I don't have time to upload videos during the week. So I have to go hammer time on the weekends I usually do it towards like Wednesday or Thursday maybe even a Friday and then I upload my my uh, video scheduled for Sunday that's how I do it y'all I do my own editing my own producing my own writing my own recording my own photographs photography everything I don't have a white wingman yet I don't have a wingman yet so I'm, I'm, I'm doing it the best that I can. And I appreciate everyone's full support, love, and genuine positive comments. So now I just added my uh, crystals hot sauce. I'm going to give a little kick, a little soul to it. We got to have some hot sauce in there. Because, you know, I'm not on soul food. So if I don't add a little soul to it, then, you know, it's not relatable. So we added some crystals hot sauce for a little soul to it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make it taste wonderful. Here's the caviar. Okay, there's different levels of caviar. They go from $10 and up. You can spend two, $300 on caviar if you want, like, you know, some fresh beluga or something like that straight out the belly of a whale or a fish or whatever you call it. But, yeah, you can get it fresh out the fish or you can get it canned. You can get it jarred, you know. But I believe um, the products that come straight from Russia or Japan, those are very expensive. So, yeah. Caviar can be farm-raised. 
So the ones in the grocery store, they're usually farm raised. Some are imported, but they're going to be a lot much more over $50, somewhere around there. So I'm just using, you know, a cheap brand of caviar like most people do when they do TikToks and YouTube shorts and things of that nature. Um, so I'm going to dice up this uh, white onion right now. Okay, I'm going to dice it up. This is my second video for the day. If you haven't came over earlier today, I made a... Um, a, tick, uh, a YouTube video entitled um, Bacon Wrapped Onion Cheeseburger versus Bacon Wrapped Cheeseburger Bomb. Now, that's a real uh, trending uh, type of food right now going on. A lot of guys grill it. And um, I said, why not get in the game and, and figure out, try out which one tastes the best, you know? So I did both. One I did on my Power XL smokeless grill, and the other one I air fried. I air fried the bomb. So please go over and check out that video. Tell me what you think. Leave it a positive comment. I'm trying to give some more um, entertainment to my channel, some more um, content that is more relatable and exciting. So, you know, I'm just trying to do the best that I can right now. I'm working real hard, y'all. Um, I'm doing more research and I'm trying to do the best that I can for this YouTube channel. So I appreciate everyone who views it, who recommends it, who shares it, who likes it, who comments on it. I appreciate it so much. I will keep working harder to give even more better content. I'm going to add some seasoning to this fish dry batter. This is adobo, low sodium. I'm going to add some, I think that's black pepper. And then I'm going to add some more um, Creole no salt seasoning. And also some onion powder. So these seasonings are just for the flour itself. I'm not going to season the, the meat because sometimes the meat comes out too salty. So I'm going to go safer by adding the seasonings to the flour of the fish fry mix. Lastly, I'm going to add the Kinder's brown sugar blend. It tastes amazing and I'm going to add that to this um, fish fry mix as well. I've added all the water and everything that was instructed on the side of the box to blend all my uh, coating together. So now it's time for me to dip my fish in there. Once I loosen up my batter to make sure it's well blended, not too thick, but not too loose. It's got to be in, the, in between. It's got to be just right. So after I do this, I'm going to add my cod fillets to it, and then I'm going to uh, drain them really good and then place them in my air fryer. Here are my delicious brioche buns. I'm going to toast them on butter. Here's my air fried cod fillets. And let's begin to build our $80 fish sandwiches with caviar tartar sauce. Bon appetit, it's time to eat, y'all. Okay, y'all, here's the truth coming. Taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. 
10 out of 10, y'all. This is a 10 out of 10. Oh my goodness, it's so good, y'all. It's creamy, the caviar is delicious, the tartar sauce is delicious. I've never had nothing like this before.